Okay, so to reiterate, in a bottle, 500 milliliter bottle or so, we added three grams of EDTA, which has a formula mass of about 372.24 grams per mole. If you're calculating it, make sure that you're paying attention to the fact that it's actually a dihydrate. It's got two waters on it, so you might want to make sure you add that extra um, 36 grams per mole about for, for water. And then we added, um, we had about 400 milliliters of water. We weren't too careful about it. And then we added 1.5 milliliters of six molar ammonia, which is oftentimes written as ammonium hydroxide because it's dissolved in water. So essentially if you took NH3 and water, you would get ammonium hydroxide um, when stuff ionizes. And then we added an additional 75 milliliters of water. Okay, so this created a, a nice high pH um, solution. Uh, if you look back at the charts, we needed something that was a pH of around 10, and that's what we end up getting here. So now the question becomes how many, uh, roughly, uh, how many grams of calcium carbonate um, are going to be needed to react with 20 milliliters of this EDTA solution from above. Well, we know that EDTA takes on one, a one-to-one -one ratio. So for every one mole of EDTA, it will bind with one mole of calcium. And so we essentially can just figure out how many moles would be in that 20 milliliters, and we can go from there. So for example, we have, if we take 20 milliliters, or 0 0.02 liters of EDTA, We need to figure out the concentration of this EDTA solution right here, and we'd be able to work through. Well, the concentration of the EDTA is simply the number of moles of EDTA divided by the liters. Well, we know the moles because we know that there were three grams, and we know that there are 372.24 grams in a mole, which is what we do with grams every single time, we turn it into moles, and this gives us an answer of about 0 0.008059 mole of EDTA. And we also know how many liters there were because we added roughly uh, 500. To be a little more specific, we added 0.4865 liters. That'd be from the uh, one and a half liters here, 75 milliliters, the 400 milliliters. And obviously this is a really rough, rough estimate. We could have just as easily put about 500 milliliters. And this gives us an answer of about 0 0.02 molar EDTA. So now when we go down here, we're starting with 0 0.020 liters. Well, we know a liter of it has 0 0.020 mole of EDTA because we need the concentration right here. So we also know that one mole of EDTA in a titration will bind with one mole of the calcium carbonate because each calcium carbonate has only one calcium, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio. We know that a mole of calcium carbonate, maybe we don't know this, but we could look it up or calculate it, a mole of calcium carbonate has a mass of about 100.09 grams. And if you calculate this out, you get 0 0.04 grams of calcium carbonate is needed. So this is how many grams we're going to want to have in our solution that we're going to titrate with EDTA in order to use about 20 milliliters of this EDTA solution.